All right, what's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. We got Patrick and um, Jake. We're going to be doing our best 11s of the Premier League era in this segment. Well, the Arsenal best 11 of the Premier League is going to look pretty familiar. <laughs> but uh, in the goal, it's either I'm going uh, Jens Lehmann. Just, okay. just because, for the very sole reason, he was one of the invincibles. Yeah. David Seaman is, like, right behind him. Like, mm -hmm. it's, like, neck and neck, you know. Uh, and just because invincible, it's going to be Jens Lehmann. Um, left back is our only repetition on these lists. Ashley Cole is just... I mean, he's the greatest English left back of all time. Easily. Know? No questions. Um, we've had some good ones over the years. I guess we'll give Lee Dixon a shout out. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no one. no one. Uh, Ashley Cole was the marauding go forward left back before that was a thing. Yeah. Before the Reese Jameses of the world were showing us how it's done. Ashley Cole was already doing that kind yep. of thing. Yep. Um, and then he took it to Chelsea on some dirty, dirty, dirty tactics, uh, you know, and was able to uh, – him and Mourinho. Wasn't Mourinho the first coach of the Roman I'm era? pretty sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, got to give the left back to Ashley Cole. Um, the center backs, I had to go Tony Adams. I mean, Mr. Arsenal has got to be got to be at least one of them in there. Um now the other the other the other one had to think about it some. I mean Sol Campbell. Um yeah. I might have to, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go Sol Campbell. I mean, there's a lot of names uh you could think of, especially per Marta Stacker. Gosh. <laughs> no, I was a fan. I like Marta Stacker. He doesn't get into this team, obviously, but uh but I was a fan. He was a servant for the club for sure. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go Sol Campbell for me in the other center back position. Um, right backs. This might have been the toughest spot of the whole team, you know? Because mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of good right backs that I just do not like at all, man. Like who? Zachary Sanya was a, was a yeah. servant for a long time, went to City. Kyle Clichy was a servant for a long time. <sighs> Went to City. City. There's, uh, a, there's a coming occurrence there's a here. There. <laughs> you know, um, I just, it's tough, you know. I think that, um, maybe even Martin Keno, Keon maybe gets a shout. Nigel Winterburn was in there back in the day. Um, yeah, man, it's tough. I might have to give it to Bakary Sonia, honestly. Yeah, I was thinking Sonia. Yeah, I mean, I looked up a couple of lists, and it's Lee Dixon, Pat Rice, and Bakary Sonia. Yeah. For me, for this list, for my viewership, um, I think that Sonia was quick and could probably keep up with Hazard. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that he's going to be able to, you know, get the best of Hazard every time because Hazard is just dumb uh, on his day. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think we're going to have to go Sonia, maybe Pat Rice on the bench uh, coming in, representing the, uh, the old school. Uh, midfields. Midfield was a, a, an interesting discussion. Um it's Patrick Vieira to start with. Of course. That's a, no, that's a no brainer. Um I think that his style is kind of it, I think it was unique then. Um today and, and I say that because even today it would be tough to find a distinctive uh like role, like you know, specific role because um as I mentioned when we were doing the Chelsea lineup, they were not playing the 4-3-3 that I will be playing in this game. 
Um, and so the fact that Vieira is a, is a bruiser, a lot of people, you know, made it, you know, he was a big dude and he was uh, kind of doing what Thomas Partey does in the team, in the Arsenal team yeah. today. A lot of people would say that he's the center defensive midfielder, but he also had an eye for goal. Mm-hmm. He scored lots of goals. He was able to get forward. Uh, I mean, and it was easy to get forward in that Invincibles team. You know, it was easy to be able to find the pass because oh, yeah. if, if four guys were on Henri and three guys were on Bergkamp, Robert Perez is standing by himself, you know. Yeah. You know, so I just feel like, uh, yes, we could we could say that it was he had a maybe a bit of an easier time of it being in a super team. But, uh, yeah, he's my he's my shoe in number one. Definitely. Um, definitely going to have to be the first one there. And I guess I'm, I might deploy him in the in the kind of Jaka role, the kind of role that Jaka yeah. plays, so he can kind of do both, which is I think what he was box uh, to box, what he was famous for. Absolutely. Um, let's see. That leaves me with, you know, what he might actually slot in as the defensive midfielder in this team because uh, this might be a bit of a surprise selection in this team but i am very biased i think aaron ramsey is gonna play my box to box role to be honest with you there was a spell there where uh after rvp left oh man how do i leave out freddie Yunberg though how do i leave out Seth fabregas i don't think i'm gonna leave out Seth fabregas to be honest can't leave out Seth, but uh Freddie Yunberg, man. Ray Parler, even. Mark Overmars. I think all three of them make my bench. But uh, like we said at the outset, it's uh, it's kind of hour 11. It's kind of yeah. what I would do, my viewership. And uh, Aaron Ramsey, to come back from such a horrific leg break. Yeah. Uh, and to be, you know, for a spell, he was captain for, for half a season or so, I think, maybe a oh. season and a half he was captain. And there was a time where he was the, he was the team. Like, Yeah, exactly. Just like Odegaard these days, if we didn't have Aaron in the team, it was, it was bad news bears. It was, uh, it was obvious that he, he was the straw that stirred the drink pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's good. That's good. Um and then yeah, so if uh, if we're setting it up like this, my center attacking midfielder creative role, it's Seth Fabregas. Oh, uh, of course, for sure. There's uh, definitely some names in that spot over the years, um, and even some people that we could probably get in there. I mean, Jose and Jose Antonio Reyes is a wonderful forward, wonderful mm-hmm. winger, but he won't make my team. As far as up front, and so he might even slot in there. Even Freddie Yunberg could maybe even slot in there. But again, for me, for my viewership, like I, I had a Fabregas jersey. Yeah, you know, um, it's it's somewhere in the in the in the ether out there. I don't <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Uh, but uh, I was a huge fan for a long time, which I mean that makes total sense. Uh, and I was it's always fascinating me to think about the fact that Seth Fabregas was on the bench on the last day of Highbury That's when great. when Henri scored the hat trick off the penalty, kissed the ground goodbye, like and kissed to the ground as if to say goodbye to the to Highbury. Cesc Fabrias was there that day. That's crazy. How nuts is that? And then that he went wild. on he went on, what was that? Twelve years later to win thirteen years later won the league with Chelsea. And then after that, went to Barcelona. No, he went to Barcelona first. Oh, did he go to Barcelona Barca first? Chelsea. There you go. There you go. This shows what I know. Uh, <laughs> leave, Ashley leave Cole Barcelona. saved a goal from him that uh, uh, cleared a goal off of the um, goal line in the Champions League that would have been the difference between us advancing and not advancing. And that was like 40, well, that was about 50 minutes in on the uh, the home leg. Yeah, big one. Yeah, huge, massive. Absolutely, yeah. 
I, uh, I have very fond memories of Cesc Fabregas and his contribution for sure. Now, there's been so many epic goal scorers for Arsenal in my lifetime. Um, even ones that maybe weren't in the best teams, like Robin Van Persie, for example. Uh, absolute all-star. Like, absolute. Of course. 11-12, he literally put us on his back. The season before he went to United, mm-hmm. he put us on his back and single-handedly got us into Champions League. Yeah. He was that incredible. man's highlight reel is dumb. Oh, yeah. that's all. He always had some wonder goal. That's all he did. That's all he yeah. scores. Yeah. Crazy goals. And uh, I could watch that highlight reel over and over and over again. <laughs> What's nuts is like I don't even I don't even feel like the Flying Dutchman is his best goal. You know, pretty awesome though. His goal versus Charlton, where Emmanuel Abue comes flying down the right, and uh-huh. then oh, Emmanuel there you Abue. go. There's the name. There's the right back. There's the, you know what? <laughs> I'm switching. I'm switching. There you I'm go. Sonia hits the bench. Abue. I knew I was forgetting one. Setting Van Persie up for the the sidekick out of off screen. He comes in out of the screen because he's not, you know, and makes up the ground to rip it from the top of the box and then goes and dives into the stands. It's great. That's he awesome. like jumps up on the b- boards and stands on the boards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but having said all that, he's the sub coming in in the 65th. Whew. Yeah. Um, for me, it's obviously Thierry Henry. There is no other answer out on the left wing. Um, And in the center, again, there's no other answer. Van Persie was great. Bergkamp was better. Yep. The Iceman himself, just (sighs) legend. Legend. Like, how, how are you that good? And you're overshadowed by the man next to you. Like, what? Just because Thierry Henry is, is, I mean, they voted him the greatest Premier League player. Premier League player of all time. Yeah. And, 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 I mean, I think that's also, it's interesting that they played together and Arsenal still ha- hasn't won a Champions League. Like, how, with that much talent, can you not? It's... We were we were closest. Uh, I think I don't know. I'm not sure. Bergkamp was even in the team when we got closest. When we got to the final, right? Uh, which which is BS, by the way. How, how do you how do you have to play Madrid in Madrid in the semifinal and Barca in Barca for the final? Come on, come on. <laughs> what? Tell me that's not a setup. Well, we we had to play we had to play Barca in the semi. And we had to play uh, Bayern at Bayern, so you know <laughs> that's a BS, man. You know, at least oh, we, Arsenal played Chelsea in a European final. We had to fly to wherever Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, yeah, <sighs> Baku. Can't play in Baku. the backyard. Can't play in the backyard. Can't get a, can't get a Wembley. You know, we should have played at Three Point Lane. That would have been that would have been hilarious. That would have been so great. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, so it's Henri, it's Bergkamp, and then, ah, man. Yeah, on the right, it's just, I mean, it's definitely, because I've already mentioned uh, Jose Antonio Reyes. Um, I mean, maybe Alexis Sanchez gets an honorable mention. Maybe. Um, And I know some people are going to be mad at me that I haven't even mentioned Mesut Ozil's name, but... uh, I'll do a whole nother video on why I cannot stand Mesut Ozil. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he just, for me, he was the cancer that defeated Arsene Wenger. I can see that. Yeah. He was the reason that Arsene Wenger's final two years, two, three years, uh, we didn't do anything. Yeah. Wenger tried to hang his hat, hang his career, the end of it, on Mesut Ozil, build a team around Ozil, uh, who just wouldn't work for him. So, uh, you know. But that's that move never made sense to me, honestly. Even even when he was at his prime, uh, it it just never made sense to me to fit in at, at Arsenal. 
He didn't because at didn't. Madrid, he didn't have to work. No, exactly. At Arsenal, we needed him to. And the days yeah. that he did, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you. I'll be the first to say I'm not a hater. The days that he worked, that he played for the team, we were magnificent. Mm-hmm. Those were the days we beat Norwich 5-1 to one with a tiki-taka, seven pass, one-touch passes, goals. You know, those were the days oh, where, we, that one. where we destroyed people. Yeah. When he worked, when he was good, when he wanted to show up and work for the team instead of just trying to find a little dink. And then when he didn't get the ball, throw his hands up and look around. Uh, you know, we were really, really, really good. But he never he, – he was so inconsistent. He was yeah. so inconsistent with that. Um, you know, and that's why I have a big issue with Mesut Ozil. But uh, I guess for the Arsenal fans out there, we'll put him on the bench. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, what it's about uh, Santi? Santi Cazorl is another one that'll definitely make the bench. I love Santi. Oh, he, he can't was, displace he Fabregas. Good. No, he can't displace Fabregas, but. And I'm not going to subscribe to the to what Wenger was doing because he tried to play Santi right forward, tried to play Ozil right forward. Yeah, those were the days where we sucked because if Ozil <laughs> didn't didn't track back on the right like that position needed you to, we were decimated. We were destroyed yeah. on that side of the field, you know. Uh, and so um, I'm not going to, you know, maybe obviously Wenger knows more than I do, but um, you know, for my team, it's Robert Perez. It's it's you know where we got half the invincibles here. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> how do you how do you vote against those guys? Like exactly, you can't. If it's not Henri, if it's not Bergkamp, Perez is dumping on you. If Perez isn't dumping on you, Patrick Vieira is dumping on you. Mm-hmm. You know if it's yeah, if, if one of those four couldn't get it past you, no one can. You know y'all yeah. are doing huge things. Uh, you know so uh, so yeah. Let's see. Jens Lehman, Ashley Cole, Tony Adams, Sol Campbell, Emmanuel Abue. We got Patrick Vieira, Aaron Ramsey, and Cesc Fabregas. Then we got Thierry Henry, the king himself. Dennis Bergkamp, the Iceman, and Robert Perez on the right-hand side. Yours truly is the coach. (laughs) Now. It's the 4-3-3, again, 4-3-3. Uh, mm-hmm. And honestly, I would want to try and play like Arsenal plays today. Maybe right. not so much the inverted uh, the inverted left back. left back kind of thing. Although I believe Ashley Cole would have no issue. Oh, no, he would be, he'd be fantastic in that um, role. But, you know, like it's kind of like how I, how I always approach FIFA, you know, with uh, kind of narrow in the middle and then using the wingers out wide. And so it's kind of pass it to the Italians is my strategy. Yeah. Get it to Henri and let him let him work some magic. Uh, you know, put a couple balls together, get one into Bergkamp, and he'll dink it off to the side uh, for Henri, who's going to dink it off to the side for the Pires tap-in like they did a million times back in the day um yeah so that's that's the approach now looking at these teams who do you like and let's try to be a little bit objective about it to, to (laughs) to give this conversation an actual point and it's not just oh arsenal are gonna smash because we're the arsenal you know um I think that the battle in the midfield would be incredible. Uh, I think, I, I think it's uh, it's not a zero zero by any means. I, I think even though both defenses are really strong, um, it's not. It's not. I think you're looking at like a four three, a three two kind of match. Um, I think Drogba would get a, a brace. I think that. Um, Henri would get a brace too. There's too much firepower. Yeah, both, both the teams. And yeah, you know, I was sitting here thinking about it. I totally forgot about Thiago Silva playing center back. Yeah, isn't that who we? I think that's who we went with last time. Actually, yeah, that's who we went with previously. Um, um, and I was sitting here and I was like, I knew I forgot somebody. And yeah, Thiago Silva. I've just you seen know, way more of Silva than I have of Desai. 
Yeah. You know, I was uh, uh, and him quitting and him ma- matching up with Terry. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, okay, I guess in their pro- in their prime, I guess. Yeah, in their prime. Yes. Silva nowadays. <laughs> yeah, Terry nowadays. Um. I don't know. I think I would be worried about Henri for sure. I'd be worried about Henri creating space for Bergkamp to just blast us. Um, that was the problem with those guys. If you lock someone, if you locked one of them down, the other one would punish you. Right. You know, if you lock two of them down, the third one would punish you. You lock four of them down, Vieira goes through. Exactly. In this team, in this team if Fabregas is running everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I think both sides would just light it up on uh, on offense, um, and that's the thing. I think this game would come down to winning the second ball. Yeah. Because who's going to have more of the ball? Yeah. Um, both these teams would be able to keep the ball really, really well. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, looking at your looking at the Chelsea front three, it's so much more. It, it's I think there's more of a going forward kind of impetus. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, because Bergkamp wa- would was always good at um, the tactical space and finding the right places to be. You know, so him dro- he'd be dropping in a, a bit more than Drogba did, I think. Uh, and so now that I think about it, I think Arsenal would have more of the ball in this game. Yeah, but the lightning counters. The counters would be would be yeah. ridiculous, and also you got to think Drogba was so good at holding the ball up, winning the ball and holding it up, um, and then you play that off to either William or Hazard. I mean, they're going to run right at you. I will say Tony Adams and Sol Campbell were both large, huge dudes. Yeah, uh, and yes, Drogba was a absolute beast, but. I think Tony Adams might have some, might have a couple of the inches on him, three or four inches on Drago. Wow. Um, and I know that the height isn't the end all be all of that kind of a battle, but, and I don't think y'all are going to be, that this team would be lobbing balls in. Oh, anyway. I don't think we would be either. No. Uh, you know, so I think the space in the channels is where Drogba's looking to play yeah. off Hazard. Um, yeah. Like you say. Yeah, How do you man. feel in goal? Do you feel confident in goal? In goal with Jens Lehmann? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah. Um, like, if this went to penalties, I, you know, I wouldn't <laughs> Nobody would score. <laughs> to see, to, to see, well, I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple saves from, from either keeper. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know how Arsenal are not so hot at penalties these days. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't yeah. know, but uh, I feel like Henri would net for sure. Bergkamp would net in a shootout. Fabregas would net in a shootout. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Drogba they're would. They're all Hazard scores. would. Hazard scores. Lampard would. Balak probably. Oh yeah, Balak. Balak would for sure. Oh man. Terry would slip. Yep. <laughs> Terry would slip. <laughs> Ashley Cole would forget which team he's playing for. Yes, he would. He would. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, it's tough. William could net too. William William is a little bit underrated as a as a PK taker. I I'm telling you, this, this there might not be a result in this one. This might just be a draw, straight up. Straight up four four draw. That would be for it. It'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be so much fun. Yeah. I don't think I could say with, you know, I think, I think when we look at the Champions League, uh, which would be a good example of what this game would be like, um, some of those teams, like take Real Madrid, for example, they have all the pieces, uh, your Modric's, your, um, uh, what's the dude from the World Cup that's in there with him, or uh, it's Kamarvenga is who I'm thinking of, uh, your Modric's, Kamarvenga, you got, um, you know, all these guys that make up the pieces of the team, but there's also that X factor because mm-hmm. Kareem Benzema just has that something special. 
He's a killer, man. When you need it, uh, you know, and the best teams have that. Mm -hmm. The best teams can play kind of okay and then Hazard bails you out because yeah. he's spectacular. Uh, and I just think that Thierry Henry has that X factor. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, anything that that Chelsea 11 can put together, Henry can do. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, yes, it's probably slightly biased to say we might just edge it because of that. But... Um, Henri did have his off days, you know? Yeah. So, uh, well, you know, Drogba loved playing against Arsenal. So I would fully expect him to... <laughs> I would fully expect him to put on a performance. Look, man, over the years, everybody says that. <laughs> Harry Kane loves playing against Arsenal. Wayne Rooney loves playing against Arsenal. Like, you know how many years I've had to endure... Of, oh yeah, my favorite forward just dumps goals on Arsenal. <laughs> you know, well, I can't say That's anything. That's true. That's true. true. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had Audrey who did that, so you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, man. I don't know. I, I really do think it could be one of those four four draws, and everybody shakes hands and. Walks off the pitch, it's satisfied with the result. Yeah, but it's a Champions League final, so who wins? Oh, we'd oh we'd have to go to PKs. Go to penalties. <laughs> four four to pins. <sighs> well, then that changes things though, because if you're playing in the Champions League final, you might play a little bit more defensively. No, it doesn't change things. You got to go for it. Oh, you I agree. You gotta go firepower with the firepower available. You're not playing. To, I mean, I guess if you're Jose Mourinho, you're going defensive. But I mean, I would. Are, are you Jose defensive. Mourinho? That's no, no, I'm not going defensive. Uh, I I trust the back line enough to where we can we can play a little stretched. Yeah, but that's also why I put William in the right at right wing. I mean, there's other people I could have played there, but I put William there because I need somebody to track back on on Henri. And, you know, he's he's going to do it. I know he's going to do it. He's going to do it for 90 minutes, plus 90 minutes if he has to. There's something, there's something yeah. There's something going on in the other room that's that's odd. <laughs> Um, anyway, I think that when it comes down to penalties, we'd have to get deep before there's a miss. Yeah. Um, you know, like I'm thinking I'm not even worried until we get to like Ramsey, Ibue, Tony Adams, Sol Campbell, Jens Lehmann. Cause I think, uh, that my five would be. It would just be the front five. Henri Burke, Cam Perez, Fabregas, Vieira. Not necessarily in that order. Order, right. Um, and then Ashley Cole would yeah. be my sixth. And then once we got to seven. Seven's it, where it gets a little dicey for Rambo. me, too. It would definitely be Ramsey for my seventh shot. But he was not. I'm not sure he was ever our penalty kick taker. Right. Um. And of course, he, I mean, he did play with, you know, others. You know, he yeah. was on the team with Ozil and he was on the team with Sanchez. Uh, you know, so those guys are definitely taking penalties before Ramsey. He was on the team with Cazorla. Uh, you know, so Cazorla is definitely taking pins. We might, we oh, might yeah. bring Cazorla on for the penalty shootout. <laughs> uh, you know, sub Ramsey for Cazorla in overtime to get, to, to get him on for the pins. Um, yeah. All right, that, I guess that's what it's going to come down to. Penalties. Is your seventh penalty kick taker better than Aaron Ramsey? Probably not, honestly, because uh, you're going to go, you're going to go, Hazard, uh, Lampard, William, um, Bollock, and then Drogba as the as the anchor, and then what? Terry, Ashley Cole. Okay. 
Conte before Terry, right? No, Conte is not that great at penalties. Not a good penalty? No. I would probably go Terry, then um, Cole, then Ivanovic. Yeah, so that means that... Uh, Conte, D- Desai, and yeah. Czech. That means it'd be Ashley. Ashley Cole would be your seventh. Yeah. And uh, I did just say I figured he was more sure than than Aaron. So I guess, objectively, seven, six, and pins to the Chelsea best 11. Hey, we'll take it. It's what, uh, <laughs> it's what we're it would be an amazing with. match. It really would be. That might be blasphemous uh, to say as a diehard <laughs> Arsenal fan. And it hurts my heart. It really does. But uh, I can I can acknowledge that Ashley Cole is possibly a better penalty kick taker than Aaron Ramsey. Yeah. And that makes the difference in the end. Yeah. We'll say that. Seven to six on pins for the Chelsea 11. All right. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that about wraps it up. Yeah, it does. That was fun. It was, uh, it was a good exercise. I, I think... Uh... I think we need to do um, uh, Premier League versus, say, uh, the Spanish League, and do do that. That would be like a Premier League top eleven versus Spanish League top eleven. That would be that'd be wild. That'd be wild for sure. That would we'll be crazy. That. There's so many, That's so much talent. <laughs> See, the problem, the problem with that. Well, no, no, because we could have Ronaldo in the Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. They would get messy. Yeah. Spain would get, the Spanish team would get messy, but Ronaldo, we'd have Ronaldo. Spanish team would also have Iniesta. <laughs> Xavi. Xavi. <laughs> Probably Benzema. Yeah, Benzema. Oh my Maybe. gosh. We'd have to, we'd have to do, we'd have to actually deep dive that one. That, that would be, yeah, that would be that, fun though. But we will. We'll, we'll definitely get to that. Yeah. Too. Um, yeah. Well, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the episode this evening. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Get the notification bell on. I'm sure we'll have that Premier League versus La Liga best 11 out at some point. Thanks again and have a good night.